Our Operation Honor Guard Day of Giving continues. As we've been telling you, we are raising money to help volunteer honor guards all across East Tennessee. These organizations offer free military services to honor our veterans. Live coverage for you tonight from New Tazewell, Living East Tennessee host Aaron Barnett joining us now from the Claiborne Overholt Funeral Home. Yeah, Aaron, Aaron the Tri-City, uh, Tri-County area rather, Veteran Honor Guard does oh, yeah. so much good there. Tell us more. It's really incredible to see the support right here in the community and spend time with these veterans learning not only why they served our country, but why they're putting their uniform back on to continue serving. Every time we put on this uniform, our nation is in mourning of an American soldier. It's something you'll never get back. The love for her country, the love for her fellow veterans is simply unmatched. Army veteran Samantha Shreve says that passion and pride is felt at every funeral service. It is tough. The firing of the rifles, it shakes you to your core. To see the folding of our nation's flag, it is honestly moving. It's tremendous to be a part of it. But more than anything, it's to be able to honor those who went before us. A wife and mom of two, Shreve served in the Army for six years, but it wasn't always in the plans to step back into uniform until she moved to Tennessee about two years ago. Turns out her neighbor was a veteran and just happened to be a member of the Tri-County Veterans Honor Guard. Moving into our new home, first thing you do is just patriotic. You, you put up your flagpole. Um, so our neighbor saw and came and assisted us, and from there the whole conversation of, you know, for God and country and... He invited me to come and see their honor guard, and then he found out I was a veteran. She doesn't call it a coincidence. In fact, after meeting the other members, she knew this was her chance to serve again. A desire to be back in uniform, to be of service, you know, to really be involved again. And it was, it was a great opportunity. To give back to her new community, her country, but also represent other females in service. I get a lot from the young ladies, the high school age, the college age. Um, and they want to know what are the opportunities out there. They want to know what advantages they can take out there. And that is something I try and educate, I try and share. Um, because it has taken me far. Saying even though these veterans and Honor Guard members are no longer active duty, it will always be their duty to serve, honor and salute the men and women who have given it all. Their service doesn't end when the funerals end. They're always helping their community. They're helping their fellow neighbors. It is an overwhelming joy that they bring. And that service can continue with your donation supporting this unit and all the others here in East Tennessee. By the way, we're just at $3,700, so we want to make it to 4000 If you're in the Claiborne area, come here to the Claiborne Overholt Funeral Home. Drop your donation off. Let's try to reach $4,000. Let's send things back to Kristen in the studio and more with the telethon. Hey, Kristen. All right, Aaron. Thank you so much. I'm standing here at the phone bank, and I can happily say again, all the phones are ringing. Take a look, everyone. As we go to this wide shot, you see actually someone just hung up, but look at phone ringing again. These veterans are busy as well as our own Matt Hinkin. And I've got to let you know, Matt just took a very sizable donation here in our studio, everyone. We want to thank Hamilton Hunter, who just called in a very large donation from the Clinton area. Thank you so very much. We greatly appreciate it. I can tell you right now we're getting more donations, everyone. We have another very large donation from Rex Williams from the Knox County area. Again, these donations mean the world of keeping Operation Honor Guard and these Honor Guard units doing their mission. And that is saying a farewell, a proper farewell to our veterans. We appreciate that. We want to go ahead and send things back over to the other side of the studio, though, with Bo. We'll check back in here throughout 630. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Kristen. And again, the number to call, 860. 65-582-4985. Our Operation Honor Guard Day of Giving running through 6.30 tonight, so just under an hour to go. Raising money to help fund volunteer honor guards all across East Tennessee. And you can call or even stop by any of the five locations you see on your screen to donate. You can also head to our website, WAT.com. We have a donation link on our front page. Made it very easy for you to give there.